Welcome back, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for being here. This reading is for those who are Scorpio, those who have Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in their Scorpio, or have Scorpio in their sign. Um, if it doesn't resonate for you, check your signs, check your um, chart, and it might not be for you today. Maybe it is for you in a future time. Um, you can always come back then. This is timeless. So thank you so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. Thank you so, so much for your views and tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. See the description how you can win free readings but just by doing that. Um, and we will get started with your life and love reading. So part one here is your reading for your life and anyone who may come towards you in your life. And part two is for that person that you're thinking of, the person who's thinking of you, whom you love and who loves you, and what's going on there. If you guys hear my breathing, um, it can be a little bit harsh because I'm right here next to the speaker. So it's not that I'm out of breath or anything. Someone made a comment before and it was kind of rude, but <laughs> no, it's not that I'm uh, running a race or anything. It's that energy is high and also that um, I'm right here next to the camera. So you can literally hear every breath that I take. So in any ways, we are here for your reading, not mine. So for Scorpio in life, we'll get some tarot and oracle for you. And don't forget to switch on notifications for future readings. Um, and I hope that you guys will enjoy and resonate today with your reading. All right. Oh, and don't forget my Etsy shop. I have a sale right now um, for you guys. Anybody interested in a personal reading or in my Oracle decks, you can go there. Descriptions in the box. And today I have a love candle burning for you guys with roses and rose quartz from a beautiful lady who sent it to me, gifted it to me. Um, her name is Celie, and I'll put those in the description as well. She makes them. They smell amazing. They're very beautiful, and it calms your mind, and it really helps you to feel love. So for Scorpio in life, what is going on right now? What's going up? <laughs> We got a lot going on. Scorpio. All right, a lot of pentacles. Okay. You do have the Two of Cups at the bottom here, which is union, physical, romance, um, emotional, any cut, anything to do with relationships. This is about uniting with a very powerful um, partner. So it could be a twin flame, soulmate, someone definitely coming your way that has to do with divine union. So take it how it resonates. Leave out what does not. That is someone else's message. Okay, so First off here we have the Nine of Pentacles, okay, so this is really good. This is um, reaping rewards, um, the fruits of labor, as I like to, you know, as it's called. So anything that you're doing right now, any healing work, any hard work you're doing in your life, in your career, anything to do with love, relationships, is going to have a good positive out outcome. It's going to have success and birth a lot of... Um, rewards from that. So whatever you're doing right now, Scorpio, is something that is going to uplift you in your life. It's going to go your way and you're going to receive rewards, maybe after a hard time of struggle, a hard time of financial instability, or just a hard time in your relationship. That is going to change for you and the benefits will come. So the Two of Pentacles, again, another Pentacles here. This is all about making a tough decision, balancing multiple decisions, maybe balancing more than one person, maybe balancing income, finances, career, life, uh, family, and home. So you definitely have something that you need to make a decision on. You're working on balancing that out. And speaking of balance, we have temperance. So temperance is about balancing as well. It's about patience. It's about waiting for the right time 
balancing a, a decision, maybe good versus bad, um, or an outcome, trying to weigh the pros and cons, finding a middle path as well um, is another indication of this. But you can see a lot of things here, the crown... Um, the crown chakra is circled here. We have some sunlight in the background, some water energy for a Scorpio, um, healing waters as well. But I feel like for this, this decision is going to take some time for you to make or it's, you know, before you reap the rewards, it's going to take some time and patience from you. And then we have the moon and look there, Scorpio, we have your... Oh, I'm sorry. No, wait. We have uh, we do have water energy in here for a second and looked like a Scorpio. I think that's a crab, but but again, water energy. So this is going to be an important card for you because this is the moon. OK, it's about split decisions, about making a decision. So something you might be confused about, something that you're in the dark about or that someone was trying to hide from you or maybe you're kind of hiding yourself or hiding your feelings from someone else um but we have a lot of split paths here we have you know some decisions to make Scorpio and something you might be kind of confused about this is also about subconscious and dreams and um psychic intuition so whatever you do you'll be using your intuition um to make a decision Maybe some illusions will be pulled off for you to, in order to do this. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So you're thinking about walking away from a situation. Maybe this is that balancing that decision that you have to make, juggling those decisions. But this is about pain and grief, leaving the past behind, closing doors to things that no longer serve you, um, and following your heart, following another path. So that might be this path, this thing that you're waiting for, um, to happen and you're kind of waiting to make this decision because you're just not sure. But here, um, this is a card of benevolence, um, a card of beneficiary of some kind. Um, so a lot of pentacles, okay, so if you're waiting for a period to be free financially or waiting for a period to come up in finances, that period is going to come for you. Someone's going to make an offering to you um, and it's going to help you out a lot in your life. And then the page of swords is mental clarity. So this is all about illusions and about, you know, confusions and mixed, maybe mixed emotions mentally and um, um, emotionally. And this is about mental um, restlessness and mental clarity. So trying to gain a clarity but wherever you are, you're kind of in a restless energy, something you want to get away from, pull away from. And the Eight of Cups definitely fits that as well. Um, and you have more moon energy here. The Wheel of Fortune. So whatever comes of this is going to come full circle. Uh, the karmic cycle is going to close. Um, a completion of a person or a relationship. Um or from something that has been holding you back from what you want. Whatever, however, you know, that resonates, take it that way. But this is the Wheel of Fortune is all about um, karmic cycles closing, completing, and also about a fortunate outcome from the completion of that cycle. So again, rewards, fortune, following fortune. Um, and we have the Page of Wands. So someone is going to try to come into your life or they're already there and they have romantic inclinations towards you. They have, um, you guys share the same feelings and we saw divine union. So definitely a romantic partner here that you have in mind that has you in mind. Um, it could be what this three of swords is about. Maybe there was some kind of falling out here, heartbreak, grief. You walked away, they walked away. Um, and you're juggling these decisions here. For the most part, though, the Three of Swords is about pain as well. Pain and grief and trauma and broken heart and breakups, things like that. But there is somebody who is still interested in you, someone who still wants to come towards you. Um, it's just based off of this path, what you decide. So I really like how that um, is playing out for you so far. So let's go into our oracle here. What is the energy for Scorpio in their life right now? 
We'll pull a couple here. Ooh, don't need that burning. We'll pull one more. One more, maybe. Okay. And at the bottom we have caring connections. So yeah, someone definitely is thinking about you in the caring kind of way. So we have adjacent possibilities. So again, kind of like the two of pentacles, you have a decision to make. You have a bunch of these opportunities coming up. You have um, different possibilities that can happen for you in your life right now. It's just all about your choice okay what you decide in the end is where you'll end up being and I see envy here so you might be like I said in kind of a little bit of a um, maybe a darker place right now and you really envy being out somewhere that you want to be the places that you desire out into the light so you're looking outside and you're thinking about someone else you're thinking about another life that you can have uh, all these possibilities and you're very envious because it's not something you have right now but I feel like you could definitely make that happen um, we have the door to value so Again, this takes me back to the pentacles, takes me back to rewards, reaping rewards. So if you were unstable, there's going to be possibilities opening up for you to a better life here, to the light that you want to be in. Um, and it will take you to a really good financial stable place. Again, doors opening up into the light. These pictures are very similar. Um, so you might be a little envious of what others have or what you want thinking a lot about what you want and desire could be a partner relationship that maybe it's a third party kind of deal um but this is going to open up for you okay like we said you will have success rewards out of all of your hard work you just have to make a decision walk through one of the doors the options you have to get there so scorpio life please what else is going on for scorpio So we do have mending here, so maybe mending a broken heart, mending some broken pieces in your life from the past. We have building blocks and new life, Scorpio. So whatever you're working towards, whatever you're trying to build, you are working your way up. All of these building blocks are coming together to create this new beginning, this new life for you. So you will receive like this upgrade, this maybe ascension out of your life with those adjacent possibilities with those opportunities you'll no longer have to be envious of that life because you're going to receive it because you believe it because you're working on it so keep building the blocks you're headed in an, a good new direction for the new life that you desire maybe even with the person that you desire as well so I'm going to pull here one card for Scorpio guidance for the life or two. <laughs> okay, so we have Spider and Flannery O'Connor, Humanity. Okay, so you might, Peacock is a divine. Okay, so that is the, um, speaking of a divine mission, a divine path, maybe you want to be a healer. Maybe there's some things that you want to do for humanity, but you do have a calling um, to heal or to you know make sacrifices or you know however you see that going for you it's an opportunity it's definitely something you may be focused on or will focus on for your future um but i feel like it's definitely in the cards for you it's something that um might be you know this whole ascension here so this is all about finding out who you are um, and I guess like figuring out maybe, you know, maybe it has to do with your career. Maybe it has to do with your calling. So definitely your calling is really important for you and um, it's going to be something that drives, you know, the decisions that you make in this time. 
And then of course uh, you have the spider, which to me that kind of has to do with um, creation. So I know the web is all about creating all these intricate patterns and stuff like that. So to me, you're going to be planning a lot, focusing, uh, taking a lot in. Maybe it has to do, like I said, with your calling here. But you have, you're going to be making plans, okay? It's something you're going to be devoted to. However, um, you need to fill your life or fulfill things in your life. So what is the love spirit energy for Scorpio right now? Ooh. Great some satisfaction. And one more, please. One more for Scorpio. All right. So first off, we have Grapes and Satisfaction. Really reminds me of that little grapeviney type of um, pentacle card there where we had the Nine of um, nine of Pentacles, which was about reaping rewards, okay? Um, so Satisfaction maybe reminds me of like dating maybe. So you're going to fall into a definitely a spirit relationship here. Orbs of Light, we have Spirit Realm. And it's something that is going to be a part of your ascension or a part of your life that's going to shape your life. Um, but it's going to be a very satisfying relationship for you. So 999, we have profound lessons are at hand. Completion of a cycle is near. So we had the wheel, right? The wheel of fortune. Um, and, or sometimes people call that wheel of fate, <laughs> where it takes you where you're meant to be. Um, so completion of a cycle. So whatever cycle you were in, if it was hard, if it was, you know, struggling, pain, that is going to change. You're going to fall into a satisfactory maybe relationship in your life, um, a spiritual relationship. We get spirit twice, intuitive, spiritual, self-aware, violet. So you are going to fall into a pattern in your life that becomes very satisfactory for you, very spiritual, and um, you'll be very self-aware growing in this. So definitely look out for that. If you are already thinking of someone, it is a very um, is going to be very important for your life. So, Scorpio, Scorpio's energy right now. So you might be having some triggers going on, emotional baggage is running the show, refrain the eternal so the external can change. So you're going to be changing a lot of maybe some triggers that you have in regards to life, um, in regards to somebody else. So we have mutual symbiotic, beneficial and balanced connection. Both partners have the same feelings, ideals, values, and shared goals, life goals. So like I said before, um, we saw balance a lot, and then we also had partners that share the same feelings. So we definitely saw that um, with that divine union, with that two of cups, that love um, romantic partnership that you're dealing with. Um, and it's balanced connection where you both have the same feeling. So they are feeling the same thing you are towards them. And then again, synerget, uh, synergistic, this is your energetic match. Two birds sing sweeter than one. So this person you're with, you guys connect on a soul level, spiritual level. You guys, your bond is very strong. Um, and it's your match here. This is your other half. Could be twin flame, like I said, soulmate. Whoever completes you, um, you guys are those two birds <laughs> and you sing sweeter than one. And uh, you guys match energetically. Your chakras, your system, everything is matching. So you both have the same feelings for one another. If that was ever a question for you. Um, so everything with life right now looks really good. Um... Everything is matching up, it seems like. A lot going on in your life. Maybe some changes coming up. Some doors opening, possibilities opening to you. And that just sounds really amazing right now. So, um, make sure you click on over to part two. That is where we're going to find out what is going on with love. Okay, so this person that was coming from part one. Or if you're just coming in this into that one on your own. Um, this is really going to be talking about whatever it is you're thinking about in love, okay? Um, so 
Love Connection, Untold Truth, Romance Angels. You will get all of that in the series for part two. So switch on over. I really hope to see you guys again. Welcome. If you're new, like, share, and subscribe. Hit notifications for future readings. Blessings to you all. Thank you so much.